Hello everyone, I'm back to share some ideas as to what we can make with the lovely heart embellishments that um, I shared with you last Friday. Um, these are the red toned ones that I made and of course these are the turquoise. The turquoise are my absolute favourite. It was a real 50-50 mix um, when I asked you which colour scheme you liked best. Now... For anybody that hasn't seen the video, these were made using the scrap from Spiral Bound Mixed Media Pads. And I'll leave the link to the video showing how I made these in the description box below. Now, I think that hearts are um, an all year round um, type of embellishment, like flowers and butterflies. They're just really easy to pull out and use in our projects. So let's see what we can come up with. Now, my first and easiest idea is to make some paper clips. These are the smallest hearts that um, I made and I've got here um, two of these um, flat back hairpin findings the hair grips with um, a flat back no. um, but all you need to do this is so so easy and I'm going to try it with two different types of glue um, I've got here E6000 I know this is going to work and what I'm going to do is take a small um, amount of glue just um, apply it here to the, um, the, the, the hairpin and then glue that down and you need to do this on a flat surface and just leave it like that. Um, then I want to try some um, diamond glaze. Um, this is what diamond glaze looks like. This is Judikins diamond glaze. Glossy accents is the same kind of thing. I've decanted mine into a fine um, nose bottle. And what have I just done with the other one? We'll apply um, some of this as well. I want to see whether this works. I know that E6000 will work because um, I've used that many times before. But I want to see if... Um, diamond glaze works because I know many of you will have you know something similar in your stash and again I'm just going to pop that down there like that and then just leave them be don't touch them um, just leave them be because they're going to take um, a while to dry now in true Blue Peter style, um, here's a couple that I made earlier. This one here was glued on with the E6000. Isn't that cute? And that, um, in a journal, I just think would look really cute. They'd make wonderful Happy Mail gifts um, as well. This one has been drying for maybe a couple of hours or so. Ideally, this needs to dry overnight. Um, E6000 takes a long time for the glue um, to cure. Um, I do want to leave the others overnight as well just to see how the diamond glaze works and then that's the one done with um, a paper clip I just think those are really really cute now of course the other thing we can make is artist trading cards and card toppers I've got here a whole bunch of um, craft cardstock scraps here that are more or less ATC size this one is slightly short of two and a half ATCs are artist trading cards and they measure two and a half by three and a half inches you can see that this one is slightly shy of two and a half um, this measures um, just over six inches so I'm going to cut these down to two and a half by three let's have this as card um, toppers and I'm just going to see what I can get from these other scraps um, as well I've got here four artist trading cards which as I've said are two and a half by three and a half inches and then the um, other scraps here these measure what did I say they were three by two and a half I think three by two and a half and this one here is two and a half by two and a half just whatever I could get um, from some of the scraps and what I'm going to do is cover these um, in wallpaper. I've got some wallpaper which just happens to go really well with some of these turquoise um, hearts. I love these. You could use scrapbooking paper. Use whatever you have. You know that I am a complete hoarder of wallpaper scraps and so I'm just going to um, glue the wallpaper down onto some of these. I mean for instance that two and a half by two and a half um, is the perfect size for this leftover piece um, here. So I'm just going to glue these down and let's make some some card toppers and embellishments. Now I've pulled out various trims and ribbons that I thought I might be able to use to decorate my projects. So how shall we how shall we do it? I want it to go about there like like that. Let me just um, cut a piece, hold that there. In fact it's best I think to trim it to size to start off with so that we're not um, wasting it. And then I can add, in fact what I'll do is I'll add glue stick um, first. So we'll add glue stick to the to the back and then we can add a bit of um, three in one as well um, do you know I'm going to use the fine nozzle bottle just because I think it will be um, easier and I'll just apply that just just to the very top and all the way across 
like this. And again, these are all going to need to be weighted down underneath a heavy book um, or using bulldog clips until the glue grabs. Let's just leave the lid off there. Let me just move that um, over there. Oh, here we go. All fingers and thumbs. And yep, yeah, let's stick that down like like that. Of course, this has gone a bit um, misshapen, so just um, try your best to straighten straighten it out. like that and then grab yourself another piece of deli paper or parchment paper and just weight it down underneath a heavy book the parchment paper will of course stop it um, sticking and I think I'm just going to use the three in one right across the top for this one here because of course it's much more um, see-through so let's try let's try this and see if we can get this to stick across there like that and again I'm just going to weight that down as well. These are all dry enough now for me to trim around the edges. I've just used a mixture of bulldog clips, I've weighted some of them down underneath um, heavy books as well and so now I'm just going to trim the edges like so. So this is how they're looking um, so far and I want to jazz them up even further. I've cut myself here a piece of 20 millimetre frayed edge burlap um, linen ribbon. Um, this one here is from Bertie's Bows. You can get this off Amazon, eBay, all over the place. Um, as I say, this is a 20 millimetre and I'm just going to glue this down um, with some rubber tack. Let me just uh, grab a piece of deli paper. What I'm going to do is apply the three in one to my finger just so that I can spread it out really um, evenly just so that it doesn't um, bleed through you only need it um, in the center let's do this blue one first it really makes um, no difference so I'm just going to pop that there in the middle whoops like like that and then I'm just going to wrap it round onto the other side and then just glue it down and in fact what I think I'll do is um, before I stick this down let's just um, have Let's just get rid of a few of these strands just so that um, it's jaggedy um, on the edge. I really, really like um, that look. And again, um, either use a bulldog clip um, or weight it down underneath a heavy book until the glue has dried. As you can see, this layer here is glued down now as well. And I just want one final layer on the top. Um, so I've pulled out a few more of my ribbons, the thinner ones, and I'm just going to go over this one here with um, some of this ribbon here. I've also also got some um, gold thread which I thought uh, might look quite nice perhaps I can have that on one of the um, red ones and I shall just wrap this around like this oh hang on let me just maybe on a, a diagonal like this really really roughly can see I've just kept on layering um, the different trims. You can see that um, the glue has bled through on this one here. I'm not bothered about that because by the time we add our embellishments you won't be able to see it. Now one last thing I want to do before I start assembling these cards. I've got some of this Arteza 3D fabric paint in gold glittery. Um, you could use stickles that would do the uh, much the same thing. This has just got some dimension and I'm just going to do in fact let me just practice this i'm just going to make some heart shapes like this and put these all over the background um, of my cards so let's start off with them um, with this one here if you're doing this kind of thing just practice um, on a piece of scratch cardstock first but when this dries it will go clear and gold and it will just add a really lovely um, dimension so you can see that I've added the gold glittery to all of them now. Um, just being really random, some have got more than others. And so I need to set these aside um, just for this paint, 3D paint to dry. Now these have been drying overnight and I just love how beautifully translucent they've gone. Um, you can still see all that gold glitter. It's just so pretty and subtle. I've also gone around the edge as well using my Deco Color um, Premium Prime Premio Uchida marker pen as well. You know how much I love this. So I've gone around the edges of all of these with that gold pen. And now I just want to add my heart embellishments. Let's work on the larger ones first. These are the artist trading card size. So I pulled out all of the larger hearts that um, I made 
and I just think I'm going to pop these down like this. This is slightly large, uh, lighter, which I think will go um, on that um, darker background. Absolutely beautiful. How do I want these to go? That one there maybe, and that one there. I also printed out some XOXO embellishments, which I thought might be quite fun to use. I've also inked around the edges um, of these using that gold marker pen. But let me just give you an example. So for instance, I think you could maybe mount one of these slightly to the left um, and add the XOXO. And and I think that would make um, a really nice thank you um, little ATC or greetings card for someone. And I'll give you some ideas for greetings cards um, in a second. But isn't that cute? Now these have all dried and I think they look absolutely gorgeous. I ended up using heavy um, body gel medium to glue my hearts down. You could use Fabri-Tac. I just used this because I think it's a bit more flexible. Um, so that's what I've used and that's all nicely dry. You can see that I've added the XOXO to some of them but not um, all of them. I also found an XOXO in one of my um, Tim Holtz um, small talk little booklets as well so I think that looks really cute. Now I think that you can take these to um, another level how about mounting one of these onto a piece of craft cardstock wouldn't that make the most gorgeous um, little greetings cards and I don't think these are in the slightest bit um, valentine's related you know this would make a wonderful thank you thank you xoxo kiss 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 um, you know thank you from the bottom of my heart you could maybe put um, on the inside so just an idea or just leave it um, as an artist trading card I also want to share the red ones with you. I just absolutely love these as well. Now, I've kept the background of these plain. I haven't added the dimensional paint to these. I like them as they are. But what I have added is some of these um, little chipboard love embellishments, um, which I've painted in gold, just again, using my paint marker. And I think those look um, gorgeous. Again, I've gone um, around the edge of these with the paint marker. And again, you know, just mounted on a card. These would look lovely. Now, you know, these are ideal for Valentine's Day, but they're also perfect for Mother's Day, perhaps, or even, you know, an anniversary card as well. Just so many ideas for using hearts in your projects. Well, I've made three cards with the card toppers so far. So I've mounted all three of these onto craft card stock. You can see with this one here as well that I've used some glittery card in the background. I think that looks so cute. And I'm going to be posting um, another video at the same time that this one gets published, showing you how to make custom envelopes to fit any size of card that you make. Because every time I make um, irregular cards like this, I always get um, asked the question, well, how do you make an envelope to go with? it so look out for that i'll also leave the link to that video in the description box below but let me show you the other projects that um, i made so here are the paper clips that I made at the beginning of the video and I'm really glad to say that both the um, E6000 and the Diamond Glaze have worked equally as well in holding these in place. This is the um, Diamond Glaze, you know that is not coming unstuck and neither is the E6000 which I wouldn't expect it to do. Um, this one here was glued with E6000 um, as well so you know that's um, another idea and uh, you know as I said at the beginning of the video these you know just clip onto the edge of a journal page are just really really cute and of course if art journaling is more your thing here's a gorgeous art journal page I made back in 2017 when I first made these heart embellishments these are the ones I've made um, for today's project um, you can see where the um, inspiration came from you know these are very very similar but you know just grouping a few of these onto an art journal page is really really effective too well, I hope that's given you some ideas as to how you can use these gorgeous heart embellishments made from scraps. And, you know, as always, if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up because it really does let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll leave the link to the envelope video, as I said earlier, in the description box as well. So if you're interested in finding out how to make envelopes to go with these little cards, um, go and check that video out. But as always, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.